Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 8744. So today, guys, we'll do my AFCON uh, predictions for match day two. Remember, guys, I just do it. I just came off a stream I just did for the AFCO, AFCON match day one. And today, we're going to be doing match day two predictions. We're going to start with the first game, which we got here. It is Equatorial Guinea versus Guinea-Bissau. Uh, this is going to be a big game, guys. Huge, huge game here, guys. Um, and my thing with this one, guys, is difficult to call. It's difficult to call for this game because... I wasn't really impressed with Guinea-Bissau and their attack at the, the the game against, what was it called, um, um, Ivory Coast. And even though Hector Guinea did score against Nigeria, I don't think they were that great defensively either. The goalkeeper had to make a lot of good saves. This is a difficult one to, difficult one to call, and for that reason, I'm going to go for a draw. I'm going to say I'm going to say nil nil draw. I don't think both these teams are really that great in the attack. Both these teams... Are around the same level now if I didn't have to pick a winner I would probably lean towards Equatorial Guinea um, my original prediction was Guinea Bissau to get third but honestly I don't really trust Guinea Bissau anymore after what they did against um, Ivory Coast so I'm gonna say nil nil draw which makes things very interesting moving on next is um, Ivory Coast versus Nigeria this is a big game guys big game here uh, for Ivory Coast man they were fantastic they were really really good against um, uh, Guinea-Bissau and I thought they were fantastic they scored some really nice goals Nigeria on the other hand were not great against out of Guinea they should have scored more goals and a lot of the chances Nigeria created were out from the wide I feel like Ivory Coast will give a better challenge and I think Nigeria will struggle in this game and for that reason and I also feel like Ivory Coast for me when you look at the team balance I feel like their team is more balanced than Nigeria Nigeria all, all they have better than Ivory Coast is just their attack Ivory Coast have a better midfield better defense better coach and I think their attack is more structured. That being said, though, I don't think Ivory Coast's attack is individually better than Nigeria. I think Nigeria have a way better individual. Um, they have the better players just on names alone. But as a collective unit, I think Ivory Coast is just more well-rounded, more solid. And for that reason, I think Ivory Coast will win this game. I'm going to say this win this game. I think they'll win this game 2-0. I think they'll keep a clean sheet and win this game 2-0. That's my prediction. Next up, it is Egypt versus Ghana. Ah, uh, Ghana, man. That this is uh, going to be tough for Ghana. This will be tough for Ghana because even though Egypt did tie the last game, I think Ghana for me is just really bad. They were not great against Cape Verde. They really struggled to score goals. And Egypt for me are just, even though they struggled to beat um, Mozambique, I think Egypt for me is just what I think they're going to show up in this game. And I think Egypt's going to win this one. I just feel like for me, Egypt is just more well rounded, more solid. Ghana for me, there's just a lot of issues with their the players and. The team selection. And I think this will be a close one, though. I don't think Egypt will destroy Ghana. In fact, I think this will be a 1-0 win for Egypt. So, yeah. And uh, we can also lock. In fact, I'm going to lock these predictions. Mm. Nah, I'm not. Well, actually, I think we need to lock it eventually. Okay, you know what? I'm going to lock. I'm going to lock. Yeah, we'll lock the predictions, too. Make it final. Yeah, I didn't do the site for match day, uh, the first games, which I should have done, to be honest. Moving on, next one is, um, 329. It is, um, Cape Verde versus, um, Mozambique. Uh, Cape Verde for me, man, they were good, good in their game against, um, Ghana. I was really, really impressed with Cape Verde. Mozambique for me, they were all, they also played really well against Egypt, man. But I think the issue with Mozambique, they just couldn't last it out. They, they couldn't last it out, unfortunately. They just ran out of legs, and they made a really clumsy mistake the last minute. For me, that was a very harsh penalty. I don't agree with that decision. Can Cape Verde follow it up, though, with a win? Because if Cape Verde wins, they're through to round 16. I think it's a bit close game, and I'm going to say a draw. I think I'm going to say a draw. I was really, really impressed with Mozambique in the last game, and I think Cape Verde will just about... I, I feel like Cape Mozambique will come from behind. I feel like Cape Verde is going to lead this game, but Mozambique come from behind, and I think Mozambique will get a point. Of this game, which will make this group very, very interesting, indeed. And I think uh, Cape Verde would qualify with four points. Senegal versus Cameroon. This will be a big one, guys. Cameroon. They didn't look great, um, in their game against obviously, um, um, Guinea. They should have done better, in my opinion. They missed spurned too many chances, and they didn't create enough chances on target. Senegal for me is just looking really complete. I think Senegal will comfortably win this. I think Senegal will win this game. I don't want to say they win this game. I think they're gonna. I think it'll be a tight game. I think I'm gonna say a one-nil win. 
I don't think we a uh, convincing win, but they'll win it. And I think Cameroon, for me, they just don't have enough in their attack. Like, you know, the Abukar missing and everything. That's a big, big loss. Uh, next up is Guinea versus Gambia. Huge game for Guinea here. Remember, guys, Guinea don't have their talisman. Uh, Gurasi, I think Gurasi is still out for this game. This will be a difficult game, man. Difficult game for Guinea here. Um, Gambia, we know how we know how good they are, but defensively they're not great. So I think Guinea's gonna win this. I'm gonna say they win this two. I'm gonna say they win this two one. I think they'll win this two one, but Guinea to get the win. They need to get this win, man. Next up, it is Algeria versus Burkina Faso, man. Algeria have to respond after dropping points to Angola from a losing from a winning position. They're gonna be devastated they didn't win that game. And for Algeria, man. They were not great in the second half. In some ways, you could also argue they lucked out to getting a point. Burkina Faso, man, we know how good this team is. But that being said, Burkina Faso had a very, very shaky win against Mauritania. I was not convinced with their win. And the goalkeeper had to come up clutch for making those big saves. It's a tricky one. It's a difficult one. I'm not sure what to call for this one. I think, you know what? I think I'm going to say a draw. I think I'm going to say a draw. I, I, I think I'm going to say a draw. I'm going to say 1-1 one, one draw. Um, I just I just can't pick a winner for this one. And I feel like for me, um, Burkina Faso, I think Aldre will do it. But I think Burkina Faso will come back for some reason. I, I have a feeling the two teams will share points. Okay. Moving on next to the next game is Martini versus Angola. Mauritania, man, they played so well against, and, and uh, they played so well against Burkina Faso. Angola for me also played well. It's a difficult one, man. It's like the underdog matchup. I think I'm gonna say it's gonna be a draw. I think it's gonna be a draw. I'm gonna say a uh, nil-nil draw. I feel like it's gonna be a low. I don't see a lot of goal. I don't think see goals in this game, and I think both teams will just cancel each other out. And yeah, I'm gonna say nil-nil draw. Nil-nil draw. I feel like both teams are defensively solid, and I think they're. They just they're just gonna share points. Next up is Tunisia versus Mali. Tunisia, man, they need to re respond after that and wait their loss against um, Namibia. Uh, as for Mali, they were fantastic. They were really played really well against South Africa. They proved me wrong because I, I I don't really have a lot of faith in Mali. That being said, I think I'm gonna go for. This will be a tight game, guys. This will be a tight game. I don't expect a lot of goals. I think it's going to be a 1-1 one, one draw. I think Tunisia will score from a set piece, and the Mali will score from open play. Cancel each other out. And yeah, I think Mali will share points. Okay, Morocco versus Congo DR, guys. Morocco, man. Uh, they played really well against Tanzania. They played fantastic. DR Congo, on the other hand, they should have won against um, Zambia. I think Morocco's going to win this, guys. I'm going to say they win this too. I'm going to say they win this 2-0. I think Dior Congo for me is not going to score. And I think Morocco will do this. And I think Morocco will qualify to round 16 with this win. And finally, the final two games we have here it is um, Zambia versus Tanzania. Um, for me, Tanzania were just awful. They were really, really bad against, um, um, what is it called? Um, Morocco. And Zambia for me were good. That being said, they were not that great attacking-wise. But they created their chance from the width. I think Zambia is going to win this. I think Zambia is going to win this. I'm going to say 1 0. I think it'll be a 1 0 win, a very scrappy win, but I think they'll get the job done. They will win not. And then the final game we got here is South Africa versus Namibia. Uh, this will be a big game, guys. Can Namibia perform another miracle? Can they get another result, guys? This will be difficult, guys. I think I'm going to say it's going to be a draw. I think I'm going to say a draw, guys. I'm going to say a draw. I think South Africa will score, and Namibia will get a point. And this is going to be a big, big point for Namibia. And maybe Namibia can qualify with this point for the round of 16. So I hope you guys did enjoy this predictions, guys. I want to know what you guys think in the comments below, guys. And um, looking forward to match day two predictions, guys. Remember, guys, that's going to take place on, of course, Sunday. We're going to have our match day two stream, of course. If you guys want to play this, I'll leave a link description below for you guys to do your predictions if you guys are interested. I'm using the Suprabo website. And remember guys to like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys there, man. Peace out.